right, for this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use simple fractions to create a drawing that is proportionally correct. So already I have a picture of Winnie the Pooh set up for you right here, and a grid that's already set up on this worksheet. And I'm going to show you how to break down these lines using simple fractions to make them accurate on my drawing. So, to begin with, I usually tell my students to just focus on one square at a time. I kind of like to start up at the top left, which is the square right here. And we're only going to focus on that one square. We're going to block everything else out and only focus on this one square right here. And we're going to use simple fractions to determine where this ear belongs. Um, when I say simple fractions, I would only use maybe quarters and halves. We don't need to make it more complex than that. Uh, you can always eyeball it in between those. So here's an example of how to use simple fractions to make this drawing correct. In between this grid line and this grid line, we need to figure out where this ear intersects there. And is it a quarter of the way through? Is it a halfway through, three quarters? This one's pretty obvious. It looks like it's right in the middle in between here and here. So I'm gonna come over to my other grid here where I draw, and I'm gonna find roughly the middle, which is about right there. And I know that that ear intersects right around the middle of that. So I'll make a mark right there. This part of the ear, if this is about halfway, this is roughly a quarter of the way. It looks like it crosses over a little bit to the right of a quarter of the way over this way. So if this is about half, that's about a quarter. We know it's a little bit to the right of that, so it's going to come over this way. And then we simply kind of connect the dots with our drawing to make the rest of that ear. So the first square right here, top left square, is now complete. So moving along to this square, one square over, we need to figure out where the rest of the ears go and the top of the head. So I'm going to jump over to this side right here and figure out where this, uh, the top of the head line falls in between this line and this line, the grid lines. So once again, I always mark where halfway is roughly. This is a quarter of the way up, so it goes right in the, right in the middle of the, uh, those two marks, a half and a quarter. So if this is roughly a half, this is roughly a quarter. We're going to make a mark right in between them. That's where the actual line for the head goes. And then I'm going to jump back over to this ear and finish this ear off. I notice that that line goes almost down to the um, bottom of that grid line. And let's see here. This is about halfway in between those grid lines. That's about a quarter. So the ear goes about a quarter of the way over. So this is halfway. This is a quarter. That ear comes down to about right here. And then I just kind of finish the shape of it by connecting the dots. So now that ear is complete. I know that this headline starts here and it comes at an angle going up and then curves back down and ends up by the ear, the left ear, just like that. And then I can finish off by drawing this other ear. I notice how close it is to this grid line, so I'm going to start it pretty close to that grid line, just like that. And I know it goes up a little bit higher than this ear does. So I'm going to draw it a little bit higher and finish it off like that. And it looks like it's pretty similar distance away from the other ear. And I could always throw in my little eyebrow here because I know it's right directly underneath the peak of that ear, about right here. So that's the top of that eyebrow. So that's how you use simple fractions to figure out where the lines of your drawing are supposed to be located. And it's good to practice on something simple like this that way you can take these, uh, these skills and what you learn here and apply it to a more complex drawing like a realistic animal or a portrait or something like that. Thank you.